Silver Star presents. So, Silver Star presents today. We are here with Mr. Mark Myrie, aka the Gargamel Buja Banton. Welcome along, sir. Enough respect, enough respect, enough respect to the masses. Thanks for having me on your radio. Well, let me tell you something. You've been one of the art. You've been the artist that I've grown up, and you've just done your thing. You, I've, I've grown up listening to your music, and now to have you here, you know, on our radio show, it's a definitely an honor for me. So, enough respect for you to for coming through the and coming through on our show. The honor is mine to be able to be here, knowing that we've inspired you and your fellow brethren along the way. It's great. So we're here in Nairobi, mm -hmm. Kenya, Africa. Now, this is like um, a monumental show. It's the first time you've touched down in Africa for many, many years. How did it feel for you to touch down on the soil of the motherland? Touching on the style of the motherland is always a great feeling, you know. Last time I was here was like 2009, I was in Ghana. So and since then I haven't been here for obvious reasons, of course. So touching down was a, a great feeling, a great intense spiritual moment, you know what I mean? And the welcome from the masses says it all. And we just want to make people know that Bujabantan is here. I am your son of the style, yeah. All right, enough respect, Buja. And um, speaking of the speaking to some of the locals around the place, and you know, seeing how clear your inspiration has been to them. stage last night at the KICC what did that mean to you to you know be in such an inspirational person to many of them the inspiration that we have been given the Africans and the people of Africa in various countries for years through reggae music is a great thing you know it has helped them to ferment and ferment their beliefs mm -hmm. in freedom mm -hmm. you understand and the ability to rule them destiny and all these great things you know so seeing the, people, the masses last night in Nairobi, Kenya, and being able to bring that message to them directly as opposed to hearing it over the radio station or in a club setting, it's dynamic, you know. There's no such thing could uh, explain that and it was just magical. Truly, we just sing. Now, I saw you in Germany at Summer Jam last year and um, the performance was epic. I was there singing every song word for word. And then I saw you last night and I was like, it was like, two hours straight of anthems and still there were some songs that I had on my playlist I was like but you never performed that it's amazing you know, after spanning a career for over 25 years going 30 years of making music I don't think it's ever possible for me to capture the likes and favorites of everyone of the audience uh, my fans at every given concert you know but make no doubt we try <laughs> yes we see that we see that and it, like I said it was an epic performance and like you said your career spanned well over 25 years from the Stamina Daddy, Stamina Daddy album um, all the way through to your last album Before the Dawn that was released in 2010 um, over three decades you've released all these albums what gives you the energy and the inspiration to just continue making new music clean art Pure thoughts. Simple as that. Yes, sir. Uh, I could sit here and tell you I, 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 I climb a rocky mountain, <laughs> I go to the Himalayas and steal it in the cold 3,000 nights out of the year. Makes no sense. If speaking from a pure art, the music flows. Naturally, and it seems to be natural to you because, you know, the, the music just comes and comes and comes. It's a blessing from the most high, so, you know, singers and players of instruments did went before. <laughs> 
Now, um, talking about those 10 albums that you've released over the years, um, my personal favourite is Till Shiloh. The reason being is that it showcases your versatility and the way that you're able to just effortlessly switch between dancehall, reggae, the different moods, the different vibes of Budra Banton. Um, now we see your new releases, um, Stepa, Country for Sale, and of course, Trust. Again, you're showcasing that you still have that talent to just switch between the different moods and you you ascribe the word switch to it i wouldn't use such a word i would say we have evolved through time to make music become a creative force that empowers the masses you know you understand and um we try to grow and as we grow we want the people to grow with us and we want the masses to you cannot be singing about battery ride for the last 25 years and still think people are one interested to hear about that so the music take on to itself a life of its own and you, you grow and as the music grow you grow as an individual so it's a symbiotic relationship between the artist and the music yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's great to see and you know we are honored to see you just here with us doing this interview that and telling good, us brother. these things that is good my brother it's a pleasure being here too yes now i want to say before i go that my next album yeah, is coming good. out in april I don't have a definite date for you, but it's called Upside Down. And Upside Down promises to be something excited. It will not make you think upside down. It will <laughs> set your right side up after seeing all that is upside down. Check it out. <laughs> all right, so we're looking forward to that. Um, the last album, Before the Dawn, was a Grammy award-winning album. Yeah. What does that mean for you as an artist that has um, won, a, won a Grammy? What, what um, difference does that make to your career, like winning such a prestigious award? The achievement of any accolade in response to your work, whether you're an artist, a painter, because the word art is a broad spectrum, as relates to art. The achievement and recognition you get for your work, it comes from you doing hard work. No one will recognize lame work, a work that's not up to par. So I say, for them to recognize that we are doing work in the earth, great, enough thanks. But my sole concern is my people to recognize my work and not an outside entity or an alien people recognizing my work and, and my people them still don't understand the genesis of what I am doing. So while it is good and all well to say you have these great things in your possession, my, my, I don't come for the awards. My rewards is my people fulfilled. All right, I talk of a great legend in dancehall and reggae music, Bujo Banton. And for the <laughs> artists who come um, after you, the, the new generation, the new crop, have you got any words of advice of, for them? Yes, always. Love the music and it's going to love you. If the music you're not playing in your house, in your car, where your children live and sleep, reevaluate what you're doing. Take care. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Bujo. It's been an honor and a pleasure. And Enjoy we definitely. Ya. Ya live. <laughs> yes, I. Enough respect, sir. Uh -huh. Bless. <laughs> Silver Star presents